in our last session we couldn't complete the whole uh, and it was abandoned so now um, uh, we are going to take up the same subject that we had discussed on, uh, we tried to discuss last time and uh, i am trying to i was trying to make you understand the concept of uh, transmission for the medicine and homeopathy how this word is very much related to our medical system we as a medical professionals we as a medical homeopath we need to have a better understanding for about the transmission because it is not only related to the medicine administration but it is related to the whole of our life so friends it is very important subject that i am going to discuss with you all and uh, i wish that you should give a sincere uh, thoughts on this so that you can imbibe and get a better applications of your medicines as well as the patient's health uh, the word uh, and the sense involved in the word lat uh, transmission in latin the word transmission is transmitere and in the sense of it is in the sense of sending across cordage to the go, go across transfer pass on from trans across mitre to send this is the basic things that we have about the transmission and the equivalent greek greek word is metadosis and in a slightly variant sense from the latin put the semantic meaning in sharing or exchanging by interaction so that within something is transmitted something is flow uh, flows from one entity to the another transmission is a, a basic process in biology and evolution as it communicate different biological entity within and across the hierarchical level from gene to holobiont both in time and in space friends there are two type of the uh, transmissions vertical descents vertical descents which is the replications transmission of information across the it is generations like the genetic development and the birth that we have it is in the dimension of the time and other is the horizontal descent in the transmission of information across the compartment in the space dimension so transmission is essentially a communication process that can be studied by analogy of classic information theory अरे क्या हो रहा है देखो ना कटर कटर करते ही बंद हो गया है so transmission i was trying to tell you the transmission is essentially a communication process that can be studied that transmission is essentially a communication process that can be studied by analogy of the classic information theory so there are the three steps are there in transmission emitted that the things that uh, is emitted and the message that is contained there and then finally the rece receptor so three things uh, constitutes the totality of the transmission uh, so there is a and uh, we have to think about the transmission process in the sense that there is a analogy analogy means uh, uh, it is is it to extend to compare the same thing at the another place that what is the here it has to be put there so whenever whenever we think, like the we are born so when a child is born he is analog of his parents so that is called the analogy so there it 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 is a process which goes from immigration to migration and then immigrations 
So this is the process of immigration. It is getting enhanced, it is getting transferred to the another process. This is the process of the communications. Number of causes, number of causes and forces determines the emission. Emissions means to sending and another cause that is the energy. So force, energy are the, uh, to assure the reception. To receive we have, must have the force, there has the force and there the energy. So whenever we think about the transmission, we have to think about the forces that is involved, that we have to think about the energy that is involved. So anywhere, whenever we are communicating also, on the, the like uh, today we are con connecting, connected with each other. So I am, a, I am making efforts, that is I am making in uh, our, I am the emitter and I am, what I am transmitting, I am my voice is the energy and you are the receiver. So this is the communications process that is going on. So the message in fact is essentially constituted by meaningful biological entity. Meaningful word is very important. Meaningful biological entity, a DNA sequence, a cell and a population have semiotic dimensions or sign that are eventually recognized, decoded and integrated by receiver in biological entity. And then what is transmitted? What things are transmitted? It is from an emitter to the receiver are essentially waves and particles from photons or electrons to organism or DNA sequence. In both cases, this can be expressed as a transmission of some kind of energy, a property that must be transferred to an object in order to perform work. Of course, the duality principle of quantum physics impedes the sharp separation of waves and particles as there is quantization or jumpiness of action energy transferred by discrete quanta packets. Okay? It is jumping, quanta, a quantity jumping and uh, energy. This is the uh, things that is involved. Then transmission where it takes place? It is takes place in time and space. Transmission is an energetically expensive process. It is complete, complemented by transmission in space. Local resources has to be significant to maintain the replication. From where we are transmitting and where it is received, there has to be a communication. Communications can be in the space also. So uh, my uh, understanding is that when we are using the homeopathic system of medicines, we are transmitting to the patient. We are the transmitting to the patient because we are not giving them orally. We assume that uh, and because it is dynamic in nature, our homeopathic medicines are so subtle in nature that it, it is in the form of the energy when we put into the, uh, when we put it on the tongue, in what it happens, it's the energy is transmitted. It is not being digested, it is being transmitted. And when we, that can be done from a distance also. So this is, that's why the theory uh, my Dr. Henneman also experienced this phenomena of transmitting from a, uh, from, from a distance by the olfaction method, method in the diseased form which he has mentioned in the organ and of medicines. Now, it is a, 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 a transactor is a, a, a called view of replicated inten intentions. It is code and hypercode. It is codified, it, everything is codified. How, what is there in your energy? The code of the medicines, it is there. Homeopathic medicines, what it includes? It is only includes the memory or the code. Memory in the form of the code. Not the whole sentence or not the whole code. Everything, it is codified. And all these individuals replicates according to the DNA and RNA. So, the replication. Individuals of all sorts of hierarchical level are selfish and constitute a different evolutionary unit that includes uh, nucleic acid based replications, uh, replications such as genes, orphans, genetic islands, insertion sequence, transpositions, integrative conjugate element, viruses, all these type of, the, all the chromosomes. So everywhere the fact is that it is being transmitted. Now the extension, uh, existence of any biological individual uh, is the result of coding system. Why we are here? Because there is a coding system. We have come out from the, what the sperm of the parents and the ovum of the, they, and what that 
uh, sperm contains is the codified information. And what is there in the eggs? It is the codified information of the mother. So both get, both are in the encoded form. And when they are conjugate, they un make another, uh, when they conjugate, they make another uh, code. And that is being, uh, that is being, so only codified information are transmitted. This is important uh, aspect that we have to think about the understanding the medical system. Transmission, what we say, when we are practicing medicines, we are transferring and uh, uh, we, when we are, we are transferring the energy, uh, that means we, are, we, we have to be aware about what type of the information are being transmitted. So information word is very important for us. Informations or informations you can call it the codified um, things there and it is derived, um, this, this is, it implies to give order or form because of the transmission, emission, reception and interpretations of an ordered sequence can be maintained. When we order, when we have the information, that means it has the message which can be sent, which can be interpreted, which can be utilized. So homeopathic medicines are, uh, are transformed into the information. So what, what happens when we do them, uh, when we potentize the medicines? It only gets transformed in the form of the memory, in the form of the, it, it, it only gets uh, uh, activated in the form of the information or you can say it becomes codified. Codification is the important aspect for the homeopathic medicines. So proximate cause of transmission, this is the proximate cause of the transmission. You see that this block and then the, this another block, the same thing has to be placed together. The ultimate cause of transmission is replication, means the same thing getting transferred at the other place. So replications are transmitted because they replicate. A replication is a biological categorical, categorical imperative. Now friend, in the sense, transmitted biological entities are the message. What is there in the sperm and what is there in the ohm? There are only messages. Messages. So only a message is, tra is transmitted. So sender is a transmitter, receiver and the object of the transmitter. So this was the process. This is the process and that's why I'm, uh, we are emphasizing because we have to understand how the medicine is entering our life. When we are making a follow-up of the case, well, when you administer the med medicines you, and you have to follow it up, so you have to watch whether it is going in a curative direction or in a, uh, uh, it is not affecting you or it is becoming harmful. So what should be the second prescription, what should be the second approach, steps, or for all these things, you have to decodify. You have to decodify the messages through the symptoms that you are, you are observing on the patient. This is very important understanding. So, and in the message of the transmission, only thing is that the information and message, information and message, it is to be understood very properly by all of us. So it is emission, transmission, this is the, and vehicle, what is the vehicle? What, there may be the material, uh, if you are transmitting the material, so material vehicle is required. If you are not transmitting the material, you are in, sending the energy, so energy vehicle is required. So vehicle depends on the type of the messages that you are sending. If you have sent a, 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 a postcard, if you have to send a letter, uh, in the form of the written documents, it has to it has to be sent by the post office. But if you have to send it through the email, this uh, the same message in the form of the email, it get transmitted in differently. So the proper mode is required. And when your homeopathic medicines are like that, homeopathic medicines are like that, like they are formed in the memory. Then definitely it will it it requires a definitive mode like that of the. Um, um, message, message. So causes related to the uh, 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 related to the space. There are insufficient insufficiency of the space, overpopulation in the packet, insufficient of our room in progeny, and insufficiency of the nutrient in the packet. So biological entities need a associated space, and in absence of a space. Uh, transmission tends to take place. Then, when, 
ओवर पॉपुलेशन रिलेटेड विद फॉर्मर कॉज इफ दैट इट इज अलाउेबल इन स्पेस इज क्राउडेड विद एनालॉग इंडिविजुअल ट्रांसमिशन इज फेवर्ड एंड इनसेफिशियंसी रूम इफ दैट इंडिविजुअल रिजल्टिंग फ्रॉम रेप्लीकेशन डू नॉट टेंड देयर देयर नीडेड लिविंग स्पेस दे विल फॉर्म टेंड टू ट्रांसमिट एंड सो एवरी टाइम इन एवरी वे दे मेक ए रूम to transfer to get transferred so whether there is are the barrier or not barrier even if you say that ki there are the barrier they can pass they can travel crossing the populations crossing so many uh, hurdles may be there so hurdles are not uh, not the matter in case of the transmission there are no hurdles because they have the capacity the messages have the capacity to uh, find a find a something uh, root uh, and create their own root also then causes related to the interactions conflicts and competition in the patches local conflicts and competition between indigenous population increases local stress and a way of relaxing stress is by promoting the transmission now how when you are sending this is the way that our homeopathic medicines are acting when you will send a similar message medicines the medicines is uh, try it, it create a stress there because previously there is a natural disease and with the medicinal energy you are putting on the medicinal energy so when both medicines uh, both uh, uh, type of the disease is existing to that it creates a pressure then the pressure are uh, which creates a stress and to relax the stress the uh, whatever which is more prominent they send it away and they, so this is the uh, this is the process the transmission takes place so dr henneman has rightly observed the similimum law of the similimum to be replacement to replacement causes related to the biological individuals explorer life strategy and any biological um, individual is located in a adaptive field in which two way of being in the world life plants are possible to explore or exploit we are the two we have the two uh, way we give and we receive we are not only one we are not we, have, we don't have the only one way communications we have the two way communication we can send and we can receive so this is the uh, related with the biological our individuality so when the medicines are being sent from other places when the pe- doctor sends the medicines to a physician we have to be receptive and we receive it until we are receptive and we are we, we have a favorable ground that medicines will not work so it is it, it, dr henneman has very rightly understood about the process how the medicines has to be placed into the patient's life and he has for that reason he has discussed and he has told us about the law of the similars so hierarchical tra- dimension of transmission so see how it is being transmitted how it is being sent and this is the yeah. so dimension of the transmission reflects the hierarchical relationship between emitter receiver and linked and the process trans acting embedded transmission trans acting transmission occurs between biological individual and different hierarchical positions we as a man we as an individual and the medicinal substance as an artificial agent and the disease things as an art natural agent so we have the relationship our life our individual life it has to be related with the nat- uh, related with the um, uh, uh, artificial medicines and the natural disease artificial so hierarchy of the three hierarchy of the three is important here the lower rank entity penetrate into the higher rank which is lower it tries to move up as receiver environment giving sense to embed or nested structure enclosed in a single space then vehicle of transmission what is the vehicle vehicle means on which we can travel a vehicle should be understood as an inmate as an inmate uh, object it is interaction between the emitter and reservoir the interaction between the vehicle and the transmitted entity is certainly important the transmission can produce proceed in the absence of immediate 
immediate object by the close proximity uh, linked between the emitter and the receiver. This causes the, so there are the vehicles are there. Then evolution of transmission. Transmission is an opportunity for adaptive evolution. Refer, receiver is confronted with new eventuality, unexpected biological entity. So many homeostasis are there, messages are to be required, required and assimilation is required. Then ecological, ecology of transmission. Ecology is the space, the land space, the place where it, it, we have, it is the dimension of the whole of the cosmos. Cross references these are the important aspects that we have to uh, understand this. So transmission codes, transmission language codes occur at all levels of the hierarchy. Transmission requires signals and signals recognition system and decodes. There are conserved trajectories for transmission of biological individual at the different hierarchical level, uh, giving rise to the substantial interactions. Then, uh, uh, they reveal the nature of that digit. Linking codes to under, understand why there are preferred routes or interactions and partnership as yet unknown barrier to interrogations and how these codes are modulated qualitatively and quantitatively by changes in local environment and context. So, uh, friends, it is very important. Transmission will constitute significant focal point uh, among the new field and research in medicines of the administration. My concern as a homeopath is that how it has, there are the three aspects. It is not only the transmitting the medicines to a patient, but it is the aspect of getting uh, within the human life and the relationship of the medicines and disease. So everywhere this word transmission is very much relevant. This is connecting, connectivity. Connectivity is important. Totality is also a connectivity of the symptoms. Life is a connectivity of the system. And connectivity requires the transmission mode. So with these things, I am very much uh, thankful for you because of the, some disturbance is still there. But I try to make, it, make you understand about the mode of the transmission. As we don't have so much time, uh, so much time, there may not be the chatting, enough chatting. But to, in our next class, I will try to make more uh, idea about the quantum energy. With the quantum energy and then the unified energy forces. I am trying to get into the every aspect. Yes, uh, Dr. Sunil, Sunil ji, you can talk, Sunil ji. Dr. Sunil ji, you can sir, talk. Sir, am I audible? Yeah, I am listening to you, sir. I can listen to you. Yeah, tell me. Very good afternoon to you, sir. It's a very nice to join with you. Sir, I would like to say something, sir. In the first slide, there was a uh, one small mistake. Uh, the clerical mistake has been taken on the slide. Uh, the uh, spelling of the transmission was wrong. Yeah, yeah, Second definitely. Minute, I, 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 I agree with you, sir. I agree with you because uh, uh, because uh, uh, typing error occurs to me because I am becoming old. I have I have prepared it myself. That's why typing error should be there. I agree. I agree. And thank you for make, making a. I will make a correction there so that in future it may not be repeated. I will try my best. Betterment towards the ourselves. Life is a learning process. This is my understanding. So thank you all. Sir, sir, you are the Sir, sir, one thing I would like to mention over here, sir. Sir, you are the flag bearer of the homeopathy in the whole India. Uh, uh, sir. <laughs> in the so, so we are we are the followers and definitely, sir, we can make a difference because the allopathy and the other medication are not uh, giving us uh, the space to come up. So sir. this is this, this is sir, the problem that you all, we all homeopaths are feeling. And sir, the problem is that the whatever the homeopaths uh, uh, they are coming from the uh, uh, colleges after completion of the BHMS, they are still they are using the allopath drugs and they are uh, uh, doing the practice exercises only. So this is the uh, means uh, the things because of this sir we are not able to uh, means uh, give our idea to the society. We can exactly. Uh, what we can do, we can do the miracles in the uh, 
let's make a let's make a new beginning dr sunil this is we shall make a new beginning